Hi, I'm Mike Sinarecki, Marketing Manager for Spectrum, and I'm really excited about the introduction of the new DX7, Spectrum's full range radio system, now for models up to seven channels. For a more detailed look, let's pay a visit to John Adams, Technical Director for Spectrum. John, we really appreciate you taking the time out to have us here in your beautiful home and your beautiful shop to share your expertise about the exciting new DX7 radio. Well, thanks, Mike. Glad to have you. As you know, about a year ago, we introduced the DX6 Parkfly radio, which was the first ever spread spectrum radio for RC aircraft. Right. Since then, the number one question that we've got is when is this technology going to be available for conventional size aircraft? Now, when I say conventional size aircraft, our customers are asking for a spread spectrum radio to fly 40, 60, and larger size airplanes, gas airplanes, and even helicopters. Well, I've got great news for you. We now have a system, the DX7, that can do all that and more. In fact, if you have a couple seconds, I've got a system set up over here on the table, and we can go take a look. Great, let's do it. Good. Yeah, so Mike, I've prepared a, a DX7 system that we got laying out here on the bench. Uh, let me show you a few things uh, about the system. In fact, what most people want to know, the number one question is not only what's it work with, but how does it work? Well, first off, I'd like to tell you that the DX7 will work for any aircraft that you can operate with a seven-channel radio. The RF link really has no limitations. The real limitation is, you know, obviously if there are some jets and more sophisticated airplanes that require more than seven channels. This is a seven channel system and uh, it's a very complete system with very sophisticated programming, which we'll talk about the programming a little bit later. What everybody wants to know is how on earth did you pull this off with 2.4 gigahertz to get full range? The real secret is what we're calling DSM-2. DSM-2 is the generation of digital spectrum modulation. Of course, the DX6 was DSM-1 and our engineers have been working for about a year and a half to develop the technology it takes to get into full range aircraft. There are several key points, but one of the most significant points is in order to obtain full range in all conditions, we have the AR7000 receiver. Now the first thing you're going to notice with this receiver is there's two distinct parts. Actually, these are two receivers. This little unit that I have separately attached with this six inch lead is actually a receiver itself, and you'll see two antennas, and there's also a receiver housed in the main portion of the control unit. The real key to making DSM work is by having this remotely mounted receiver about two inches or greater away from the initial receiver, and ideally these antennas will be oriented 90 degrees to each other or perpendicular to each other. What this does is this allows each of these receivers to see a different um, RF environment. So um, when you had one receiver or two receivers mounted in one area like an AR6000, we were finding we were having several blocking issues. But by simply having a second receiver located even just a couple inches away from the primary receiver and by orienting the antennas differently, ideally perpendicular to each other, that is the real key secret to making long range, full range systems work for all types of aircraft. Other key features that were required to make it work, of course this is the DX7, um, the RF link is quite a bit more powerful than the DX6 as well. Not only is it more powerful, but believe it or not, it's also more energy efficient. So actually the power drain is less. It's about 280 milliamps in this system. So um, it's actually a more efficient system as well. So DSM-2 is Spectrum's second generation protocol of digital spread spectrum. And the real key points are you can now use it in any type of aircraft you choose. The only limitations are you're limited to seven channels by the transmitter.